Hi there, I'm Ian Ballantyne, Developer Relations Engineer for Google Ads API. Firstly, I'd like to say a very warm welcome to all of you that have joined us from wherever you are in the world. We acknowledge that today's event will be very different from in-person events that we have done two years ago, so we are very thankful you've taken the time to attend today. Before we get started, I'd like to highlight a few key areas of our virtual format. Below each video, you will find a Q&A section where you can submit questions at any time during the session. Our team will be on hand to answer your questions as we go. If you see a question asked by someone else that you like, please give it a thumbs up and that will bring it to our attention. Now I'm sure you're tired of hearing that the world has changed, but let's be honest, it's getting a little hard to ignore. I'm not just talking about our habits, personal circumstances, working locations, but how we view the world and how we are adapting to the new normal. During this disruptive period, consumer behavior has changed significantly and that in turn has affected many businesses. Many have had to adapt to the requirements of lockdown and restrictions, making changes such as allowing customers to pick up products from their stores. Many businesses have turned to the digital world for the first time as their primary source of advertising, meeting new customers where they are spending the majority of their time. While some businesses have been struggling, others have found unprecedented growth, such as local services, for example, finding a tradesperson or getting a haircut. Helping customers find the right business at the right time has never been more important. In short, the last two years have been a transformative event, and many of the aspects of the world and how they work will have changed forever. I'm reminded of a story I was told while speaking to one of our API developers. Before the start of the pandemic in early 2020, they were steadily building out a new product for the travel industry. As the industry began to slow due to the lack of traveling for business and pleasure, they saw a significant drop in the demand for their product and its usage by their customers. Naturally, they paused any additional development and focused on the key areas of their business. Around the middle of the year, despite the uncertainty of the future and the varied travel restrictions across the world, they noticed a shift in the travel industry as many businesses turned their focus to their digital offering in anticipation for what will come next. They were suddenly inundated by a demand for their product, which shifted their focus back to expanding new features and starting many new business relationships. If we've learned anything from the last two years, it's although we can't predict the future, we can be prepared and ready to adapt to it. With regards to the future of ads automation, we're standing at a join in the road. On one side, we have improvements to our underlying technology, such as business intelligence, automated bidding and targeting, and our tools to manage it, such as our APIs. On the other side, we have fundamental changes to the behavior of our users, such as their approach to privacy, consumer behaviors, and their needs, all of which have been accelerated undoubtedly by one of the biggest changes to the ads industry in recent history. The occasions where these two things align simultaneously is infrequent in a product's life cycle, and make no mistake, this is one of those opportunities. Remember, this isn't just about where we are today, but where the industry will be decades from now. As ads engineers, we can't predict what the future will bring, but we can build you the tools to help you get there. We intend to join you on this journey and help you understand the capability of Google Ads API and its implications for the future of ads automation. We want to be able to give you the skills and knowledge that you can use to your advantage in supporting your business's changing needs. We hope you're having the same thoughts too, and hopefully that is why we are all here today. And with that, I'm excited to introduce you to what is coming up in this workshop. We've listened to your feedback and put together an exciting agenda that is even more interactive and goes even more in depth than events we've hosted before. We have hands-on coding sessions, live demos, and more opportunities for you to interact with the experts in our engineering family. To kick us off, we have a talk on what's new in Google Ads API, a summary of everything unique to this technology and all the ads features and formats only available through this interface. Next, we have a micro-migration on the topic of migrating from a feed-based to an asset-based extension, a live coding session where we show you the shift of paradigm from the feed way of doing things to the role of assets in our future advertising formats. After that, we have a demonstration on getting started, credentials and account access, a live demo covering one of the more crucial parts to get right in the ads API, authentication and permissions. We start day two on the topic of flexible reporting, going in depth to a new service for gathering performance data and how to access it with queries and the tools available to help. 
Following shortly is the ultimate Google Ads Query Language Workshop, or GACL for short, breaking down each element of the Google Ads Query Language and how you can select the precise data you need in a request. Next up, we will learn how to update using the API, a simple model for mutates, with a goal of efficiently and scalably making changes to millions of campaigns across thousands of accounts. Wrapping up day two, we have our next micro-migration on the topic of reporting and mutates, an interactive coding session where we show you in real time how your AdWords reporting and mutates can be converted. For day three, we open with a talk on Google Ads API best practices, the go-to session where we discuss the best tips and tricks required to get your new code running smoothly. As developers, like it or not, we need to plan our work. So to get you started, we have a talk on creating a migration plan covering many of the considerations you should make before that first line of code. Now, if you want to hear the inner thoughts of our team of experts behind the Google Ads API, you might want to tune in for our migration panel session. Also, don't forget to keep submitting your questions for experts throughout the event. Before we wrap the event, we will summarize the topics covered and leave you with our final remarks, bringing the workshop to a close. If that all sounds good to you, I'd like to share a quick few tips for attending. When using our site, note that you can filter the sessions by type or topic, for example, to show only the talks with coding sessions. Most sessions have an associated live Q&A below the video, so please add questions during the session. The agenda will highlight which ones. Many sessions will also have resources that can be found on the session watch page. General resources are available in the resources tab on the top bar of the site. Alongside the workshop, we will be running breakout sessions to help you ask the important questions. These are group sessions that you can join via Google Meet, where you can discuss development topics with our API experts. If you're interested in signing up, please visit the resources tab. As a quick reminder, please fill in our pre and post workshop surveys, linked below this session. Also worth mentioning, some of our sessions have prerequisite install or configuration steps that you will need to make the most of the session. Please complete these ahead of time to avoid getting stuck. You can find here the sessions that have prerequisites, so if you're interested in any of them, take a look now. Remember, you don't have to be able to see the future to prepare for it. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the event.